Okay, I'm with uh, Nick and Isabel. They're from Tasmania. Uh, they've been doing extremely well in some races, but not <laughs> in all. Uh, they're selling a new boat called Paddywhack. Uh, tell us a little bit about your boat. Uh, Paddywhack's just a tiger, which we picked up on the way home from Adelaide last year. We traded our, our other boat in, got rid of it. Yeah, so. And are you happy with it? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah, a bit different. So tell us about your series so far. You've had a bit <laughs> of an up and down one. Yeah, it's, uh, yeah, we have. We've just been inconsistent. I think that's the best way to describe it. But uh, had some pretty ordinary races, and and we finished off with a good one. So yeah, so we've still got another three days to go. So hopefully we can continue our latest lot of form. And Isabel, how long have you been sailing in an S? Uh, about two years, I think. Two seasons. Um, one of, oh, two with Nick, and one with another um, skipper. And do you think you're now a crack crew? Uh, you have to ask Nick. <laughs> she goes all right. Are you, you uh, still finding your learning stuff? Yeah, every time we go out, there's always things that I can improve on and stuff. And Nick's good with that and telling me what to do and stuff. So, yeah. Um, does tell us about the others. Quite a few Tassie boats here. Is it six or seven? Uh, we were five this year. One less than last year. Yeah. Um, so. We've got obviously two Davises and they've both got the Tigers and then the two Pete and Barry and the Aero 10s which have their little sort of their little battle, they've got their own little competition within the Nationals so they all seem to be, I think everyone's just found the tricky conditions to start off with and it's, it's not something we've been sailing in very regularly at all in Tassie last sort of couple of years so it's it's good for us, I guess. I can relate to that too. Yeah. <laughs> These so, are very different conditions. Uh, no, no one sort of, to? you know, it's compared to, you know, results maybe last year, there's no comparison, no comparison how we're all going this year. So, yeah. Just tell us, a lot of people don't understand the, the amount of effort you guys have got to go to to get to these nationals. Yeah, so it's just a matter, well, for us, it's obviously getting on the spirit and it's not, you just got to sort of, work your holiday around I guess so we we leave on Christmas which is usually the way to go and a few people did it differently this year just for a change but and that's usually um, an emptier boat so it's easy to get onto the spirit and then uh, coming home that's that's when you get slugged a bit because it's sort of the peak season so um, yeah once we get that once we're on the mainland it's good we get our little drive but yeah well it is impressive I've got to say to see the Tassie boats consistently supporting the nationals I wish a few more boats to do the same thing, it'd be good, but Tassies are definitely uh, showing away and I think it's good. Yeah, that's no, good. Alright, uh, good luck for the rest of the series. Thank you. Um, you're kind of in a not bad spot, hmm. you could still end up doing alright, so yeah. good luck for it. Thank Thanks. you.